city of Santa Fe is looking to brighten things up, hiring local artists to paint murals in areas that are otherwise dark and drab. But the city's historic preservation code does not allow those bright colors, so the city will have to find a way around it. News 13's Rachel Knapp explains. To be able to express themselves, do their work, but also get paid. Rod Lambert, who manages the community gallery center, tries to feature New Mexican artists in and outside the studio. I think a lot of artists appreciate the opportunity to be able to get their work out there and have something to put on their resume. And the mayor might have thought of a way to help local artists get out there. The city sees an opportunity to beautify the parking garages at the market station in the rail yard, as well as the one in the convention center. So when people park, they'll see murals covering these walls on the inside of those garages. Think about a garage for a minute, and they're typically gray, a little boring or sometimes menacing. Some older people feel like a, a garage can be a scary place. So what if we brightened them up? But would the colorful and lively murals go outside the lines of the city's historic preservation code? which basically preserves the historic aesthetic of Santa Fe's buildings. Lambert says no. All of the murals that would be slated would be inside, so the historic preservation laws don't, or rules don't necessarily apply. Giving artists like Lambert more wiggle room with what they would paint. I think it's an opportunity for artists to get paid well for what they do and have some, a little feather in their cap for the public to see. Rachel Knapp, KRQE News 13. The Art in Public Places will discuss the details next week, like which artists to include and just how much they would be paid.